Welcome back to Fantasy Star 4, a game filled with stupid people who lower my intelligence at every turn. Last time we went through the Strength Tower on Rykros and received a hefty dose of exposition about how fucked we are. In this episode, Rune has resolved to convince Chaz of how not fucked we are by introducing him to someone. Unless it's someone who can boost his mental faculties, I think it's a waste of time, but... Oh well, what the hell, let's get just get on with it. Hello, so you're a friend of Kyra, please. I'm fucking, I'm goddamn Lutz, you motherfucker! Fuck you, Rune of Kyra, my fucking ass! Bitches. How the fuck do I get to this place? Hello, old man. That's right, the black energy wave will not disappear. I temporarily forgot what I was doing. I guess I'll just gonna go to Lutz's orb, see whether that solves the problem. Hopefully I didn't take a wrong turn. Oh, at least you guys stood out of the way. Hello. Something, something is going to happen, I can tell. My chest is throbbing violently. That's because you're in close proximity to me, baby. Oh, yeah. That could have been said a lot more suave, but I don't care. We're borrowing the inner room again. I've got something to give to Jazz. Surely you're not going to give that to a youth like this. Youth? Well, you are 16, Jazz. There's no one other than Jazz. You've got to believe me. I understand, Reverend Fifth One. I will say no more. Nope. Oh, that was automatically controlled there. Jazz, the sacred sword. El Sidion awaits you. The sacred sword El Sidion? It's probably the one and only weapon that has the power to destroy the profound darkness. But it won't win to render to where the rest of us obsolete. Kinda like how those robots were supposedly only attacking Rin, but shot all of us. We will all attack the profound darkness, but say that you're the only one who can actually do anything about it. Oh, okay. Go, Chaz. Alone. Go and meet with El Sidion. Me really? You are a snake! Huh? What was that? I fucking feel like I'm feeling <laughs> fucking. You know, never mind, never mind. I'm just gonna drop that. Blah, 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 blah. So, I'm alone now. Chaz, pull yourself together. Summon lungs are so crap, look alone. Here, let me heal you, then get going. Wait, wait, you have the power to heal me? Where was this shit? Bullshit. It's Sword Cav. Cavalry? Phantom! Can't even select macro. Attack! Attack! Probably should just use up all my abilities. Whatever. We won. A thousand experience. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Phantoms don't have a whole lot of money. Oh, great, now there's two of them. But you know what? Fuck it! Ow. Ow. This kills him. Hopefully I get a turn. <laughs> oh, well, there were the past four minutes of our lives. Everyone's just standing there and there waiting for Chaz. Like, he should be here by now. They finally rushed in there and Jazz is dead. <laughs> so much for that sacred sword, huh? Yeah, it was a great challenge to leave him, you know, fucking walk it alone whenever he had so many doubts in his brain. He didn't know whether he could do it or anything. You're like, nah, just fuck you, go alone. This is something you have to do on your own and he died. Good job, now you've doomed the world if he was the only one who could do it. Way to go, Rune. Yep. Good job abandoning him. Looks like your confidence and trust was misplaced. I, I I thought that you know Chaz could pull through that, but apparently you know no not 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 so much no no. 
Of course, he had to be slower than the Phantoms. To apparently use a multi-target attack on a single person. And again, I've been guilty of that before. So it appears I just can't manage the attack macro a bunch of times and expect Christmas miracles. Yeah, you know, we'll talk to you again for the lulls. There's no one other than Chaz, you've got to believe me. So what did you say to that old man afterwards? After you failed to revive Chaz? Yeah, he was the only one. Yep. See how stupid Chaz is again? Okay. Now I'm pissed. Yep. Oh, I actually did another attack on me that time. So what the fuck, is Chaz supposed to just constantly run from this shit? Yep, Chaz is supposed to constantly run from this shit. He's not actually allowed to survive. Okie dokie. That was a fun little blast. Forgot that phantoms can't be damaged by, uh, you know, regular old run of the mill shit, like summoning fucking gigantic fucking tornadoes with the power of your mind. My bad. <laughs> and this appears to be as far as I had to go. Hmm. Alright, now that I'm done shaking my head... For the love of God, game. That really, that, that's one of the many things that bothers me about this game. You run into an object and it's like, oh hey, let's automatically divert your path. I want to face something so I can look at it. You would think that'd be convenient, but it's actually not. Not for me anyway. So this is the Sacred Sword, El Sidion. And I only had to die once to get it. What? I hear a voice from somewhere. Ah, you have made it, Chaz Ashley. This is the place where the spirits of those who fought to protect Arago return to. I could tell. They killed me. The city on is the soul children of the spirits. Seriously? I mean, you guys killed me. You kind of proved how tough you are. You don't need to try to scare me. I get it. And I look... Jazz has like this... Like it's a dog cocking its head in complete and utter confusion. Like, huh? No, Jazz. You must take and see in your uh, Okay. By the power of Grayskull! Hey! I didn't summon this. It's a... Rabbit Man! <laughs> wow! Voltron! <laughs> Kitty people! Someone yelling! References to prior games that I don't understand. I imagine. Oh. So you are just who you are. We apologize for attacking you and killing you. Five minutes ago. Chaz, I entrust you the care of the city. All the thoughts are stored within that soul. We will all be with you, Chaz, always. 
Don't worry. Leave it to me. Just don't kill me again. It was rather comedic that he ended up dying. I will say that. I guess it was worth that. I knew it. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> I proved you wrong. Elsidian promised that it would give you power. Just like how the Profound Darkness promised Zeo that it would give him power. I, I... Shut up, Jazz. There was no mistake in my judgment, because you didn't die this time. I turned back the, to the time, the clock, thing. <laughs> Rune. Jazz, let's go save Algo. Right. We're doing it for all life in Algo, and to create a future that is truly free of terror. Algo never understand human beings. A future unbound at last from the evil of the past. Now it is Ryder, what the fuck? For that I will fight. Jazz. Is, is it seriously romantic? Like, it, are they really love interest if she just stares blankly at Chaz and just says, Chaz, and dot 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 every fucking three... Alright guys, I'm good. We have an emergency! Jimmy informs us that disaster has erupted on Mertavia! Chat! Say my name, say my name, but no one is around you. Alright, let's hurry to Motavia. No irregularities ahead except for the secret path that Rune showed us. Oh my, you were actually able to get your hands on that during your second attempt. <laughs> Trust the Reverend Fifth One to be able to pick the one with a Billy. No, old man, you were actually right the first time. God damn it, I proved an old man right. Look at what I've done. Um, going to Tyler. Said the Matavia, then, folks. Get some. No, apparently I was auto. Whoa! Oh, you made it, Chaz. Raja, are you okay now? And Kyra, you're here too. A minor sickness like that couldn't keep me in bed. Take me with you. Uh. Uh. Um. Ship. There's reassurance in numbers. If I'm so reliable, I'll accompany you. Thank you, Sailor Mercury. Raja and Kyra, thank you. Oh. Why the fuck can't we skip all the time? Come on, that's awesome. Holy shit. Han, Grizz, and Demi too. Where's Rune? Rune! Hey, Chet! Wow. I, wow. It's been a long time, man. I know I briefly visited you whenever I was playing around with Seth, but wow. Hey, hey, Chaz. You seem to become stronger since we last met. Yeah, I advanced about like 30 levels. No big deal. I was scolded by Panna, but I came anyway. The system is finally stabilized, except for, you know, the whole profound darkness thing. Now I can go with you. Everybody, everybody, thank you so much. Dunno, why does this disaster you reported? Will a large hole suddenly open north of the other? The light bombs around that hole are dying one after the other. But there's no gas or radiation emissions coming from the hole. It's just a hole. There is no need to verify it. We knew as soon as we arrived in Motavia. It's all due to the black energy wave, and a pretty strong one at that. It's the profound darkness. He finally opened the door from the other dimension. Jazz, let's go! Isn't this the last battle? Really, you guys need taken care of. I'll be your big sister and look after you. Well, seeing that we're all here, I'd like all of you to go, but... There are only five rings of stars to protect us from the power of the darkness, so... Raja, Kyra, Han, Grizz... Demi, you go in our stead. That's five people. <laughs> Jazz, let's go to a ditty bar. <laughs> I'm not old enough for that. You are now. So that means we have to choose one person to take. 
my god. Oh, wow. I didn't see this happening. One person had commented on how tickled they are by how how I react to novelty. Like, oh, oh my god, it's amazing. Because something actually pierced my jaundiced eye and surprised me for a change. It's kind of a pleasant one of that, so... I, um... I'm pretty sure this answer's obvious for me. I, uh... I think I already know who I want, but I'm actually gonna go in in the video here. We, we had a funny death. We had a bit of, you know, exposition. Had a lot of exposition. Now we present it with a grand choice. I could leave this for you guys to uh, decide on your own. But I kind of do want to finish this game today and uh, get it uploaded uh, by tomorrow, the 1st of September. So, just so I can, I got a lot more of these rewarding the rewarders projects to start. I spent a lot more time on this one than I was supposed to. So, uh, we call it a wrap. You guys can, like, you know, artificially enforce a cliffhanger upon yourself, or maybe I'll do that on my own. I'm not sure, but yeah, one of five. We get to assemble the final member of our team. Who will I choose? Who will it be? Find out next time. Dun dun dun.